go to break here. So today's sponsors are... Welcome to AfterglowCases.com. Take your selfie to the next level. Click the link in the description right now to go shop and follow all their social medias. Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's your boy Casual here. Oh man, today I have a sad news for you guys. Hip hop legend DJ K Slade has passed away. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know who DJ K Slade is, I'm really sorry for your generation because you guys, you know, y'all y'all miss a great run. This guy is phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? This guy, <clears throat> he was born in August. 14 1966 in new york you know what i'm saying where he took up the passion for music and sound and over decades he has blessed so many artists um from eminem dmx 50 cent lloyd banks you know tony yayo Ludacris, you know just to name a few um nas star speed diplomats all the great acts you can think of this guy has, you know, put a lot of effort and hand in um, these guys' careers. And um, it's just a sad um, for his passing. He was 55 years old. Um, I'm not too sure how accurate this is, but um, they're saying he passed away from COVID-19. Um, <clears throat> this guy helped so many people, man. Like, it's, it's just crazy. If you don't know the case late tapes, y'all need to go dig it up right now. Especially you millennial kids. Um, y'all need to go check out all his work. He is a great producer, DJ. Um, I'm going to give you a few more rundown on him. Um, you know, so the New York pioneer artist Keith Grayson is officially birth name. Perform as DJ K Slay. You know, he worked with the top art stars, artists, whoever you can think of. This guy played a major role in their careers. But um, unfortunately, they're saying he died of a complication from COVID 19. Um, <clears throat> he passed away on Sunday, confirmed by his family in a statement released through New York radio station Hot 97. So if you don't know, Hot 97 is like the breaking the breaking stage of a lot of DJs so once you make it out that way you know you, you can make it far so <clears throat> um, he hosted um, the drama hour um, on Hot 97 so if you go to all the podcasts um, radio stations you can catch his stuff still um, not sure if it's on YouTube but I'm sure you can find replays for more music and, and um, his cuts um he's a very dominant figure in the hip-hop culture man with millions of fans worldwide um <clears throat> we'll remember him for his passion and excellence with his legacy that will transcend to generation and his family statement you know what i'm saying he grew up in Harlem, in new york in the early scenes of the hip-hop he got his first start as a teenager Graphing artists, you know what I'm saying? Featuring in the 90, in the 83, Style Wars, the documentary. He begins selling bootleg mixtape. You know, it's, it's, if you haven't, let me tell you something. If you haven't sell bootleg DVDs or tapes or nothing, you ain't, you ain't about this hip hop thing, man. Like, reading, reading stories like this about guys like this, you know what I mean? It just, it's, it's just, just more fun. Now everything is just one click download. It's boring now. It's too easy. You know what I'm saying? But back in the day, you know, pressing up your own mixtape, cutting your own stuff, and then go sell it? Man, that was like that was like the biggest feeling of success you can get. Like as a teenager coming up, it was just so nostalgic. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing simple. It's simple in a way, but at the same time, the feeling that you get, it was just crazy, man. So, you know. Y'all need to go check out this stuff from the early 90s as well. With You know, a lot of stuff with DMX, um, Mob Deep as well, Onyx from New York, 
a lot of great guys you know those are very um cemented legends in their own field uh um style and technique that they used to rap um you know go check out the, the street sweeper um tapes from like 03 um several more albums you know nas kendrick jada kiss buster rhymes like all these people man he touched um their 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 upcoming styles and stuff so you know a lot of people is very shocked because we know he was feeling ill with the with the symptoms i think like four months now he's been like feeling ill and they said it's because of covid so um you know a lot of a lot of feelings going on this morning because he was very hands-on in hip-hop and you know a lot of people that he helped to like in the early 2000 and say six seven are like females like record label would not want to invest in those girls like girls that want to move from like you know a strip club like a dancer and they want to take up the feel of being a rapper a lot of labels like cardi b is probably one of the most rare person that got picked without you know have to do a lot of you know hustling and moving um but the other girls like he really give them a shine and, and give them an opportunity because he if you look on his instagram page he had some of the flyest chicks from the clubs that would want to change their life path from being a dancer a stripper and make it into the rap world and he gave those girls a shine so he got mad chicks like just respect and love him like you know what i'm saying like you can see in these videos um he had a great time in the club um on his birthday um you know he was just a good person you never hear his name in no drama no gossip no nothing he was just a cool dude you know what i'm saying so it's very sad that you know dj k slayer had passed away and for you young guys that just coming up in hip-hop and just know about young boy and you know just six nine or whoever y'all need to go back and see like Y'all need to learn the listening pattern of the craft, how it started. Like, it will pay off more as a listener. You know what I'm saying? So, live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lakshmi. It's just crazy, guys. So, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys um, learn something from this, you know, update. I'm probably going to call this Cashville News. I don't know. I probably drop one every day, like with a news or something. I don't know yet, but um, yeah. So these are a few celebrities that are paying tribute to the great Kaysley on their social media. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks, guys.